Okay, yeah, so my name's Paul Scott, and um, uh, I work with Contemporary Transferware, and uh, I've had a relationship with the Spode uh, company and the Spode Museum for a very long time, and um, uh, going back to the 19, going back to the early 1990s, and, um, and I've recently completed, uh, we've recently launched um, a new T-Ware design um, made by Spode for Fortnum and Mason, which is called the Gardens of Lyra. So part of the exhibition here at the BCB is, uh, is an exhibition which, uh, which shows the story about the creation of the Gardens of Lyra teaware set. And um, in, a, in a first, um, part of the exhibition is being mirrored, if you like, at Fortnum and Mason's store in Piccadilly in London. And so um, you'll be able to see uh, a similar show if you go to London and go into the Fortnum and Mason store. It'll be, it'll be different because it's a retail environment, but uh, there, are, there are mirrored exhibitions about the Gardens of Lyra. And the Gardens of Lyra um, has been created using material from the Spode archive. You know, the Spode Museum Trust uh, is, uh, has this wonderful archive going back to the very early days of the Spode factory. And it includes molds and it includes uh, tablewares and it includes pattern books and all the graphic material used for pattern design, including something like 28,000 copper plates. And so I used, uh, I worked with Paul Holdway, who was the former head engraver here at Spode, and uh, he printed off selected copper plates for me, which I then reworked digitally uh, to make the new Gardens of Lyra teaware. There'll be Cumbrian Blues transfer wares uh, dotted or inserted throughout the museum, including Spode's famous Blue Room. Um, yeah, I am a gardener. And, um, you know, one of the things that I do when I'm creating new patterns for transfer wares is, is that very often I do digital gardening, you know, because I can take elements from old patterns. I can take bits of vegetation, flowers, leaves, foliage, and then within Photoshop, I can, I call it digital gardening. I can create new gardens. I can create new trees. I escaped into ceramics from the painting and printmaking departments at college uh, because I didn't get on too well with my painting tutor at the time. And the, the ceramics guy was a guy called Barry Gregson. And Barry told me you could do anything in clay and so I thought, okay, I'll take him up on that. I'm going to go and paint and print and draw in clay. And uh, he enabled me to do that. And, um, and then, of course, you know, uh, um, uh, you know uh, as I got more involved in ceramics, I discovered, you know, I became aware of printed ceramics and printed transferwares. And, uh, you know, I, got, I sort of got sucked into it. And, and it's such a rich... There's such a rich history to it, and there's so many potentials and so many possibilities, that um, that is where I've est established my practice over the years. Yeah, I love it. 